chances are you've heard about diamond coated tools. Maybe you've used them, maybe you haven't, but I'm here today at SP3 with Na and she's gonna tell us why diamonds make a difference for you in your cutting tool applications. And she's gonna give us a little bit of behind the scenes peek at what's necessary to get you the best diamond coated tools. Nas, right. thank you so much. So why, why diamond? Why are we even using diamond for cutting tools right now? We all know that diamond is super material. Oh yeah. Yeah, uh, but um, for cutting tools, the most important property is that it's very high wear resistance. Yeah. So it will make the tools last a lot longer than normal. And uh, the toughness is one of the toughest material out there. Yeah. So uh, when you're cutting like abrasive materials and the normal tungsten carbide would not uh, serve it, then you can come to diamond. And lastly, uh, diamond have a very low uh, coefficient of friction, which is it make it you know a lot easier for cheap evacuations. Yeah, and nobody out there is going to want to have their chips get stuck in the cutter. Exactly. So when you're coating the tools, are you just coating the cutting edge, or what does that look like? Uh, so w when we're coating the uh, tools, we're coating all surrounding it. Uh, okay. As you can see over here, we have one of the tools that we already been prepped. Okay. Uh, it's it's been prepped all around uh, oh, from wow. the uh, length of cut right here. So yeah. uh, that's where we're gonna put the diamond coating on. So okay. it will be very uniform across. Yeah. So then you get a nice even coating of the the diamond. So does it go on with a pretty even thickness then? Uh, yes. So the uh, the thickness that's what make uh, we different from the other competitor as well. Yeah. Our thickness uniformity is uh, very uniform from the top to the bottom, yeah. uh, and our competitor is mainly the thickness is very thick at the tip and you know uh, thinner at the bottoms, uh, which is only make it uh, you know have more life cutting on the tip and less life cutting than the bottom. But we our thickness uniformity you can use the whole length of cut. Okay, that's really cool. I couldn't help but notice though, Na, that those tools are a different color than the ones you have beside it. So why, why do they look different right now? Yeah, so growing diamond on cutting tool is very challenging, yeah. you know, because uh, we cannot grow diamond on cobalt. Oh, and, really? Yeah, unfortunately, all the tungsten carbide tool is uh, using cobalt as a binder. Yeah. Yeah, and if we, um, so we have to remove the cobalt from the top of the surface. Oh. Yeah. Uh, so if we remove too much, it yeah. will weaken the uh, cutting edge. Okay. And if we remove not enough, then the diamond would not stick to the tools. So, yeah. That so, sounds like a really tricky situation it, to get it, it right. It, it is. It's very tricky. So we have been developed a process to control uh, the you know the cobalt depletion layers to uh, fine tune it. So we measure 100% the tools, um, uh, the cobalt level, you know, after our prep to making sure it fall within the acceptable range. And okay. we do that for 100% of the tools. So yeah, you do 100% right. inspection? Exactly. Oh, wow. During our prep, and we also doing it uh, for outgoing inspection as well. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, the reason why we have a different color between the uncoated tools and the prep tools is that uh, to able to put diamond on, you have yeah. to have a, some rough surface for it to grip on. Oh. Yeah. So that's why we need to roughen the surface. So you have to see a different light reflection from it. Yeah. So when the grinder does a really good job and makes it super high polish, it looks beautiful, but it's a big pain for diamond coating. Uh, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> uh, most of the cutting uh, cutting tools will want you know high polish, but. Um, we are the opposite. We don't want it too polished. So if the um, the grinder put it in J polish, we would suggest they not to do that before they sending it to us. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Um, so we have been um, um, uh, doing the process of um, uh, uh, prepping as well as um, uh, measuring the hone because uh, the hone for cutting tool is very important. Yeah. And uh, sometimes, you know, when the hone uh, is the large, it's, you have a not a sharp edge. Yeah. But when you have very sharp edge, then, you know, the force of the cutting tools going in, it gets too much right at the cutting edge. So you have to have, a, you know, a good range of the uh, hone. And we are able to work with the customers to find out, you know, what the solution, what is the optimal hone that they need. Uh, and uh, we control that in-house. 
So with your R&D team, then you can talk to them and make exactly. sure you're getting the right final edge preparation for them so it's honed the right way for their needs. Yeah, so we always, uh, when the customer come to us, we yeah. have to ask them what's their requirement, what is the application, cutting yeah. conditions, then, then from there we will be able to you know, work with the customer, find uh, the, the solution for it. That's yeah. fantastic. Well, thank you so much, Na. Yeah, thank you.